Hello and welcome to Simple Cryptocurrency News presented by Cryptos Chain. And in today's news video, we're going to be looking at some general news talking about Binance, the recent hack that we've seen and that you've probably all heard about. Then we'll be talking about blockchain capital and what may happen with Facebook when they release their stable coin. Then we'll be looking at some news from the ontology ecosystem and finally we'll wrap it up with news from the NEO ecosystem as always. So let's get right in and check the state of the market but before that I just want to remind you that in the description below the video you'll find the times as well as the topics with the links that I'll be discussing in this video. So you can simply click on the time and the topic and it'll take you directly there. Now that being said, let's look at coin market cap. So Bitcoin has actually hit over 6K. It has pulled back a bit. So now it's trading at 5,946. So a lot of the bullish predictions actually came true. Now expert traders did predict that it may hit 6K and then there's gonna be a correction, a pullback maybe to around 4,200 based on a, on a high probability, okay? Or a lower probability that it's gonna continue to grow and we may see even 6.8K where the next support line is or resistance as they call it. So again, I'm not a trader, but I'm just going with what I've read and what I've investigated myself uh, and the research that I've done on that just to, to get their opinions. Of course, these are just probabilities, anything could happen, right? It's all a coin flip, it all depends on the news that come in and things like that, so it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so uh, Ethereum is trading at $169, down minus 1.65%. And let's look at NEO. So NEO is in the 19th position, trading at $8.97, down 1.58%. And Ontology is trading at $1.05, uh, minus 1.45% in the last 24 hours. Now Ontology has actually been struggling quite a bit because it's been swinging back and forward between one, 103 and 115, something like that, you know, on Binance and other exchanges. But uh, yeah, it's been struggling to, uh, to maintain that momentum and just go straight over 150 right managed to hit that at some point this year but uh, yeah it is what it is at least it's holding above one dollar so that's a good sign for ontology holders so let's see uh what are the biggest losers and the biggest gainers so the biggest gainers are next and project pi okay i haven't actually heard of them so i'm not sure what it's all about but that's who they are and the biggest losers are Japan Content and Cosmos. And actually when I checked it yesterday, Japan Content were the biggest winners, I believe. So it was a pump and dump, as you can see here by the graph. It's gonna continue to go down, so we may see an even bigger correction here, obviously because everyone's just dumping. So just be careful with these uh, with these kind of tokens, especially when you see volume like this, 454,000, it's, it's a sign of a pump and dump, okay? So it's very, very uh, dangerous. Again, not financial advice, it's just a warning, right? So yeah. Uh, cool, right, so that's that about the cryptocurrency market. Let's take a look at the news. So we've got the Binance news, which basically affected a lot of people. Again, affected in the sense that they can't access their uh, account to be able to trade in the situation that they wanted to uh, deposit some funds on there. They'll have to use a different exchange for the time being, simply because uh, Binance has suspended all um, deposits and withdrawals at the moment, but you can still log into your account. So basically what happened is some hackers, maybe an internal job, we don't know, hacked 7,000 Bitcoins, right, from the Binance exchange. And when I say they hacked them, they basically made a transaction to withdraw 7,000 Bitcoins from Binance's hot wallet, which apparently was like 2% of the total fund. So that's what they're saying here. And this actually happened on May 7th. So that was yesterday. And interestingly enough, uh, when I checked it yesterday, and I wanted to log in. I, I logged in and I saw that all the deposits and withdrawals were suspended, but we didn't have any news from them. So it did, I did find that a bit odd, right? I'm sure many people did. And when I checked on the Binance uh, Telegram channel, they actually said, oh no, it's just some maintenance work. So obviously the, um, the Telegram admins were not allowed to disclose this information, right? Obviously it's confidential until Binance give them the go ahead to say, okay, we're gonna pu publish the article, then you can talk about it. So yeah, they can't really say things, right? Until there's an official article. Uh, so that's how it is. But yeah, unfortunately, that's how it is. Uh, but funds are safe. So uh, yeah, basically, Safu, as uh, CZ says, who's the CEO of Binance, secure asset fund for users. He's really famous for saying this expression, Safu. And there's a YouTube video, which is quite famous, uh, in which they basically talk about Binance in the future, how it's going to be in 1000 years from now, when, when all the planets disappear, and there's going to be like this, uh, I don't know, 
and uh, this big stone in space or something like that or spaceship in space which is owned by Binance you know so it's it's a really funny video it's only like three minutes long so I do recommend you check that out uh, on YouTube if you search for Safu from CZ you'll uh, you'll be able to find it on YouTube but yeah that's how it is so they're saying that in one week time uh, they will um, they will enable deposits and withdrawals okay so you will be able to make deposits and withdrawals and uh, nobody's affected basically okay they'll manage it because they've got the funds and interestingly enough even Justin son from Tron uh, said that he's willing to buy 40 million dollars worth of Binance token just to pump up the price and to to basically uh, re not to reimburse but to, to help Binance right because you know CZ and uh, Justin son have this strong partnership but uh, yeah that's that so we just have to wait a few days uh, before we can trade on Binance unless we have funds on Binance already in that case of course you can trade but uh, yeah it is what it is so yeah it may affect the market actually because Binance is a very big exchange right um, so yeah let's move on and talk about the next piece of news and that's blockchain capital partner Spencer Bogart says Facebook could double or triple crypto users so why does he think that so it's basically saying that uh, Facebook right when they launch their stable coin they're gonna act like a stepping stone okay so that's gonna be introduced introduced to the masses okay they're gonna find out about cryptocurrencies because a lot of people when you talk to them about crypto they're like oh I'm not not even gonna invest like 10 bucks in that it's a scam you know then these are people that are not in the crypto space that have, that have heard of crypto in 2017 and I've also heard of bad news about people losing money well losing money because they sold at a loss of course you don't lose your money until you sell so that's that's the idea but people bought in when it was expensive as you all know then sold when it was when it dropped because they were afraid to lose their money and that's how it is so it caused that kind of fud which was spread around on the news and everywhere so yeah he's saying it's like being on the internet so people can spin out and they can start owning bitcoin they can start owning ether some percentage of the user base is likely to do so and again i think that's going to be a dramatic catalyst so yes that's actually a good point that it has i do believe the same thing i do believe that um, facebook are going to be a trigger maybe not for mass adoption but it'll definitely um, make people feel more comfortable about cryptocurrencies okay now hopefully it will not be a stable coin although that those are the rumors that it will be but we don't know yet right so anything is possible when the uh, investment happens right because obviously they're looking for one billion dollar investment so when that happens then uh, we'll find out exactly what they decide to do and also facebook acquired the rights to the libra trademark for its secretive cryptocurrency project so that's probably going to be the trademark name or maybe the name of the cryptocurrency which they're going to launch uh, once this project is uh, is kicked off and once they find investors if they haven't already found investors of course we don't know that they haven't made it public but we'll keep an eye out on it as always so let's move on and talk about ontology now so what do we have from ontology actually this was posted on may 6 so two days ago unfortunately i'm a bit late with the news uh, because i had to leave the country i had an emergency situation that i had to take care of so i haven't had a chance to upload any videos unfortunately so i do apologize for that i'm back to daily videos now so i'm going to try and do that or at least four times a week if not daily and i'll try and do some demos too not only news videos but uh, yeah ontology is going green by partnering with environmental ngo so what does that actually mean so basically they're taking steps in the field of social service and the company announced its collaboration with the chinese ngo shanghai queen gay i think it's pronounced i'm not entirely sure so um basically what they're saying is that this is a governmental uh, company right so green finance is the way to go green finance is the way forward right this is what they're saying and according to the united united nations environment council green financing has the potential of increasing the level of financial flows from the public private and not-for-profit sectors to sustainable development priorities the blog post further explained that using ontology's blockchain technology shanghai quenge can put data of their business on the chain this will allow data collaboration and business innovation so this is really really good uh, this is what we want to see again I really like when I see these kind of updates from ontology as expected from ontology because they do have on-chain back in them so they've got a lot of funding remember ontology had no ICO if you're new to cryptocurrencies and you're wondering what is ontology I have done a review video one of my older videos I probably should do another one a more up-to-date one because a lot of things have changed since but uh, yes that's that with ontology this partnership may be something big uh, if they start using the blockchain technology ontology's blockchain technology of course 
uh, because we're going to see more transactions we're going to see more demand for ONG and if ONG price goes up which is the gas that is necessary for transactions to be executed on the ontology blockchain then of course the ontology price goes up so every investor that cares about tech also cares about the price right it's always 50 50 or or if not more it could be maybe 30 percent tech 70 percent uh, money right because this is how it is people invest in the hope that they can make some good earnings based on good tech because if they invest only in speculation then it's a high risk so basically this is my idea this is how i look at projects I, I try to look at the tech to see if it's a good investment opportunity which can give me potential returns in the long run uh, short run forget about it it's not going to happen until we see the bull run so in the bull run we'll see who's going to stand and who's going to leave um, so yes that's that about ontology we don't have much more i think there was some other article posted today i'm not actually going to cover it because there's quite a read so do check that out on their twitter page if you want it's just some uh, interview that john lee is having i think he's just to talk about the ontology blockchain in general so nothing new but uh, yeah just the partners and all that so don't forget the stablecoin paxos is also going to join the ontology blockchain pretty soon so i'm look looking forward to that but that's that about ontology let's talk about the neo ecosystem and let's move on and talk about switch on neo news today switch your de debuts atomic swap lucky draw incentive okay this was posted on may the third but the event runs from May 6th so it only has started two days ago until 31st of May so you've got the full month which is basically to use their atomic swap functionality so anybody who uses the atomic swap functionality okay you need to have registered with the switcho exchange trade more than half an ethereum in volume on the switcho ethereum market each week and hold 5000 switcho in the smart contract balance on the exchange and then you are immediately entered into a draw so 25 winners will be drawn at random to receive a prize of 2500 switcho tokens each now it's not so much right because considering switcho's price is like four cents or 3.8 sorry a third of a cent at the moment or a fourth of a cent close to a fourth of a cent it's not a lot right but it's something it's something right especially if you're going to do atomic swap using switch your ethereum because this is the whole purpose they want to test it out they're incentivizing you for testing it out of course it's on mainnet but it's just to see what the volumes are going to be like and if it's worth it they're going to be adding more i think they are going to be adding more pairs of course they have to do that is the whole purpose when they add the eos blockchain there'll be eos blockchain uh with neo and eos with ethereum i guess right it's going to be cross chain because this is the whole purpose of atomic swap but this is how it is so do check out their article on their medium page for more information but uh, yeah winners will be drawn every friday so keep that in mind cool that's that about switcho let's move on and talk about ftw for the win are now releasing a new tool a new website i'm not sure if they're going to integrate it into the existing one uh, where you can uh, basically play the lottery the decentralized lottery on the neo blockchain uh, where you choose five numbers out of 39 or if they're going to have a separate website so do check out the article it's not very clear right now because it's still in development it's in the testnet phase but basically what they're doing is they're creating a functionality in which you can build your own lottery so you can decide the prizes you can decide the fee you can decide the total number of balls and range of numbers which determines the winning odds the frequency of the drawings the ticket distribution the price choice so everything this is absolutely awesome it's basically for people that maybe want to uh, that work in companies and maybe want to do something fun and say okay let's use the blockchain technology for creating this instead of a raffle let's create uh, our own lottery system right so it gives users the um, the freedom to determine their own uh, type of lottery right so this is great this is great and also besides that they're making some other changes which is instead of uh, verifying entries to um, earn people five percent of the ticket price they're gonna earn five percent of the ticket prize okay so if somebody verifies an entry which has the jackpot and the jackpot is absolutely humongous you're gonna get five percent of that ticket prize which is five percent of the jackpot so of course if you're the lucky person so um yeah let's actually look at that of course do check out the medium post for more information but let's have a quick look at this website and it's called next.ftwcoin.io this is how it looks it does say it's on testnet it's got the games here okay all the jackpots the ticket how much it costs to buy one what is the jackpot of course these are all tests so uh, don't take this uh, for granted okay if you see these huge differences here uh, again you can create whatever you want okay so you don't have to play 
if somebody uh, created something uh, you know which is irrational right which doesn't make any sense but a lot of these are actually uh, drawing picking two numbers out of a specific number so actually it's two numbers out of ten and if those uh, two numbers get picked of course you're a winner you've got the draws here the winners the entries the rules etc so this is pretty cool you've got my page here with my games my tickets my winnings you've got the wallet login of course where you can log in or you can use o3 because as you know ftw is integrated with the o3 mobile and desktop wallet uh sorry let me close out of this mining now they call it mining but this is basically the ticket verification that i was talking about um, customize which is basically telling you the rules minimum ticket price minimum initial jackpot and more information about ftw so yeah let's check that out when they release it for now do check it out on testnet if you're interested uh, request some testnet tokens from the admins on their telegram page and it should be fine and let's move on and talk about qlc chain <coughs> okay sorry so we've got qlc chain which has announced that he has joined the o run alliance which is an innovation driven group of operators and vendors that are committed to optimizing the network infrastructure and enhanced service systems the network as a service naas provider purports to be the first blockchain project to join the oran alliance so if you don't already know basically um, what they're trying to do what qlc chain are trying to do is to take over the telecommunication space and to try to create a decentralized um, data sharing platform okay where you can share uh, your bandwidth things like that or a telecommunication service things like this you know to be able to be rewarded okay with uh, qlc uh qlc tokens or qgas because this is going to be the utility token uh once they launch mainnet okay and you can use the wallet for that of course uh, now oran alliance right which is very important include telecom and network infrastructure companies such as at&t which is one of the biggest in the united states i believe china mobile Deutsche telecom t-mobile sprint verizon so all of these which you've probably heard of in orange so this is good because it opens up a lot of doors right it opens up a lot of doors and this is great we're just seeing more and more companies joining the blockchain this is great right this is great and we're seeing these projects which have been in it for quite a few years now developing making building these partnerships right in this bear market and this is good this is a good drive because when the bull run returns then we're going to see all these partnerships come to fruition and we'll see the results this is what we want to see um, so of course one of the things that they're going to be working on is auto billing of different virtual communication sources on the same physical base station such as smart billing which may apply to firewalls storage routing and addressing services so like i said it's more on the networking side that's what they're focusing on right that's what qlc chain is all about but uh, yeah we'll have to keep an eye out on that as always and find out what we're going to get uh, in the near future but that's that i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the likes if you enjoyed it do subscribe if you're new to my channel leave a comment below and let me know what you think uh which news did you like uh, what did what what more do you want to find out and i'll see if i can answer your question uh, but that's that thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video have a lovely day